an inner cell mass is found here these inner cell mass this inner cell mass differentiate into epiblast and hypoblast so the inner cell mass differentiate into epiblast and hypoblast this epiblast forms embryonic ectoderm and this hypoblast forms endoderm and in between the epiblast and hypoblast that form mesoderm so three germ layers are formed that is ectoderm uh, mesoderm and endoderm now the blastocyst changes into what stage gastrula stage three germ layer stage is called as gastrula stage and this process is known as gastrulation that is formation of three germ layers is known as gastrulation then i shown each germ layer Uh, that is uh, each germ layer forms specific tissues and organs let us see that uh, what are all the organs formed from each germ layer first one is ectoderm from ectoderm what are all the organs formed now central nervous system peripheral nervous system uh, epidermis epidermis and its derivatives epidermis and its derivatives then and also mammary gland mammary gland these are formed from ectodermal layers the next one mesoderm mesoderm from mesoderm what are the organs formed now there is connective tissue then uh, cartilages cartilages bones and uh, then muscles muscles then organs of urino genital system urino the ureter and gonads these are formed from mesoderm next one is endoderm from endoderm epithelium epithelium of gastrointestinal tract and also respiratory tract respiratory tract then liver pancreas liver pancreas thyroid parathyroid these are formed from endoderm next we will see extra embryonic membrane the extra embryonic membrane are amnion yolk sac allantois and then chorion this membrane gives protection protection for the embryo from desiccation desiccation means dry and also protect from mechanical shock and it and it is helpful for absorption of nutrition and also exchange of gases let us see one by one first one is amnion see amnion is double layered amnion is double layered amnion is double layered it is translucent it is translucent and it is filled with amniotic fluid it is translucent membrane and filled with what fluid amniotic fluid the next one this gives buoyant uh, sorry buoyant environment buoyant environment the next one is it this uh, amnion gives protection to the embryo how it gives protection means it protect from injury protect from injury then regulate the temperature and it is the medium for the movement of fetus so only it is said to be what it gives what environment buoyant environment the next one we will see yolk sac yolk sac where it is found now it is attached outside the developing embryo attached outside the developing embryo where it is attached it is that's outside the developing embryo embryo and it is connected to the umbilical cord this yolk sac is connected to umbilical cord umbilical cord by means of yolk sac by means of yolk sac 
the next one is uh, it act as a preliminary circulatory system it act as a preliminary preliminary circulatory system the next one is and uh, it also and eventually it is absorbed into the gut of the embryo later it was absorbed into the gut of embryo okay next we'll see about which one allen toys this allen toys is a hollow sac like structure that is hollow sac like structure and it is filled with the clear fluid it is filled with what fluid clear fluid and then this forms the uh, that is extra embryonic and also embryonic tissue extra embryonic and also embryonic tissue that it forms the part of extra embryonic and embryonic tissue and it, what is the function of this allantoid is known it is helpful for the exchange of gases exchange of gases and also eliminate eliminate that is liquid waste liquid waste that's all about allantoids next one is chorion this chorion gives protection gives protection and also nurture nourishes the embryo nurture the embryo and this chorionic villi core i like explain later chorionic villi this chorionic villi allow the exchange of nutrients oxygen and also waste products with the mother this chorionic villi allow the exchange of nutrients oxygen and waste products with mother next we'll see placenta see the trophoblast cells from blastocyst form finger like projection that is called as chorionic villi this chorionic villi it carries what blood no fetal blood and this is surrounded by met sinuses sinuses of maternal sinuses of what maternal blood sinuses of maternal blood and this chorionic villi and uterine tissue uterine tissue forms what placenta so this chorionic villi and uterine tissue uh, intermingle together and form what placenta see the placenta act as a temper very important it act as a temporary endocrine gland the placenta act as a temporary endocrine gland this placenta only connect fetus to the uterine wall so this placenta connects fetus to the uterine wall uterine wall through umbilical cord through umbilical cord so placenta acts as a temporary endocrine gland and this placenta connects fetus with the uterine wall through what umbilical cord what is the function of this placenta it is it supplies nutrition and uh, helpful for respiration as well as what excretory also and the placenta secretes the following hormones that is hcg human chorionic gonadotropic hormone human chorionic gonadotropin hormone then human